game three, and this is keepable. Hopefully we draw another land and our uh, Noble Hierarch doesn't get dominated. Okay, good. <laughs> well, good for uh, us. Sends it into the mulligan to, uh, to five. So at least he'll uh, have the equivalent kind of hand that we did our first game. Not that I want to necessarily wish that on anybody. This is make for a very interesting matchup. Alright, well, let's see what he's got for three. Awesome, so we're going to get in for at least four with Blood Braid. Elder is nice. And attack for four. And I will sacrifice the Sakura Tribe Elder here. The way I can lead off with a Thornling. With haste. Alright, so grab a forest. Hmm. Well, let's see. That's actually kind of interesting. A Garrick. A Garrick. Uh, play the Garrick. I get it untap two lands and have three open. No. I'm going to go ahead and play Thornling. And more than likely, this will be game soon. Spirit Monger. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack with the Thornling. And he has to block or he's dead. So let's give. Thornling plus one, and then make him indestructible. And finally, I'll go ahead and play the Garrick and untap a few lands here. Alright, well, we're looking good. Grave Titan. So let's see. If I ended up giving everything plus three, he'd have to block. No, he wouldn't have to block everything. So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I'm gonna play Terastodon. And untap two. Turns out I tapped too many. Alright, so I'm gonna kill the sword. Um yeah, that's fine. And that'll be it. I guess probably should have made uh, trill a couple of my lands. The way I could have a more effective overrun. But 
think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna block his Grave Titan this turn. I'm gonna go ahead and take the damage. Or let him kill the Garrick. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, this game suddenly got a bit more awkward. Yeah, I guess if he offers a trade, I'm will sacrifice the Trast I mean trade Trastodon for the Grave Titan. I really did not see him attacking the uh, the Garrick there. That was my fault. So it figures I'm going to take a game I was almost guaranteed to win and throw it throw it away. All right. He attacks again, and here I'm going to have to uh, trade. All right. So I guess what we can, best we can hope for now is to keep drawing land to make more stuff for our rampaging Bayloth. All right, well that's good. That is quite good. And that should give us a hand here. I uh, think we have another forest and sure a mountain. Why not? Alright, and we've got mana up to region the Thornling if necessary. So I think we're okay here. We've certainly got a couple of answers. And a few ways out, so we're not completely dead yet. There are all those zombie tokens are going to be an aggravation for sure. And he chose not to attack or do anything that turn. Okay, this is good. So I'm going to make Thornling indestructible and play Crater Hellion. And that should hopefully end the game here for us. So he discards Forgotten Ancient and don't think anything he fetches with the Fauna Shaman will stop me, so I think he's just taking advantage of the Fauna Shaman ability before the uh, Crater Hellion destroys everything. Um, even though I still think he's just dead this turn, actually. So I've got a land. And that should be it. 
I pump up this Thornling by one. That'll should end the game. All right, well, that's it. So I almost ruined it, but that Hellion uh, definitely brought us back from the brink. Um, we ended up with one match win, uh, so that's nice. And like I said, you know, previously, I think the deck was good, just missed a few pieces uh, and had some bad luck in the matches the earlier rounds. But uh, as my second attempt at trying to play a mid range uh, red green deck, so I think it was more successful than my last. So hopefully, you enjoyed the, uh, the draft, and I'll see you next time.